Hi, I'm your mayor, David Alfin, and I'm extremely eager to welcome you to our 2022 City of Palm Coast's annual State of the City. As your mayor, I'd like to open my address by asking you just one question. What inspires you to love where you live? When you are out and about in our town, what are some of the elements of our daily life that put a smile on your face? I believe that actual contentment comes from being passionate about all the progress around us, and this frequently includes the following. Innovation that creates exciting new paths for living and growing. Restoration that provides more efficient improvements. Recreation that refreshes our souls and spirit with pleasure. Loving where you live can often take time to develop. In my case, I fell in love with Palm Coast the moment I moved here. For others, it may take time to become familiar with the rhythm of our lives here. Feedback we've received from many surveys reveal that so many of you are supportively engaged in Palm Coast. As you observe this presentation, I know you will agree and share my pride in this wonderful city. Let's now take a look back on a year that inspired us to love where we live. I grew up, I want to be a fireman. We can help with that. Here at the City of Palm Coast, we are working on investing in our most precious resource, our citizens. We plan to do that by working hard to bring new and innovative businesses, events, and programs right here to benefit everyone who lives, learns, works, and plays in Palm Coast. With innovative businesses like Metronet, Advent Health, Flagler Health Plus, and more, with programs like our Junior Firefighter Program, and with first-of-its-kind events like the Innovation Challenge. Here at the City of Palm Coast, we are dedicated to continue to push the boundaries and not stop at what is possible, but to reach for the impossible and build a future that is brighter for all of us, together. Here at the City of Palm Coast, we like to talk about innovation. But what does innovation look like to you in your life? Is it a new slow cooker? Is it a ring doorbell, USB wall chargers? What does progress look like in your home? For me, innovation means moving forward, opening new doors to new paths that create a better tomorrow for each of us. A place where if we can dream it, we can do it together. Innovation is more than just a means to progress forward. It is a vital piece of the human experience. To innovate is to provide paths through imagination, to instill hope again and again, now and for generations to come. Speaking of generations to come, this might be a good time to talk about legacy. What is your legacy? Have you ever thought about it? While we are busy dreaming and working and building towards the future, it is so important that we never forget all those who came before us and helped to lay the foundation. When we talk about restoration, it doesn't always mean that something is broken. Quite the contrary, it often means that something is working, but can be made even better. These achievements are worth being celebrated because they reinforce two things that we already know to be true. One, our employees are some of the best and brightest in the country. Two, when we take care of where we live, we take care of each other. Every project that we just spoke about were all the response to a single question that each of our employees come to work ready to answer each day. And the question is, how can I make Palm Coast better? Their answer, putting in the work and getting the job done together. I've been down here for 23 years from good old Harney, New Jersey. The, the restoration projects that they do here, we really enjoy them. It means so much to us. Look at this beautiful bridge. We really appreciate this. The kids can ride their bikes. I just love, I love it here. Station 23 was built in 2003 
and it was a small station that was being prepared for a response to the north end of the city. In our world, the, the kitchen is the center focus of, of firefighter life. Everybody's in the station, everybody goes to the kitchen, a lot of work gets done around there, and at some point, like any other kitchen, it started to get an older and the equipment started breaking down. And when you've got three firefighters that live there 24-7, it's time for a remodel. We decided to work with the building department and do a remodel of the kitchen and, and kind of bring that up to date on where it needs to be. We wanted to make sure that the kitchen was able to support that need to having everybody around the, the table, so to speak. Last year when the fields were completed, our capacity for fields doubled from four fields to eight. Three of the four new fields are baseball, softball, so that way we can grow for both. The way our season is set up right now, I don't know what we would do without those fields. We wouldn't be able to get all the games in on Saturdays. We probably have to take good teams time off, a ton more practice space, and it's just a great, great thing for the league and for the city in my opinion. While we're making efforts to improve the city of Palm Coast, we're aware that problems exist. We will work to keep taxes low, reduce crime in our community, and focus on smart, managed growth. It is important that we restore swales, service our saltwater canals, and maintain the continuous neighborhood street lighting program. At the city of Palm Coast, our staff is tirelessly working to maintain the standards of excellence that have been in place since 1971. We accomplish this goal with restoration projects like the Old Kings and Imagine Schools pedestrian paths and the Indian Trail Sports Complex improvements. And with capital improvement projects like our Holland Park expansion and Ralph Carter Park and Seminole Woods Park basketball court resurfacing. As Palm Coast grows, we'll examine proposed developments, continue our road maintenance and paving program, and listen to the voices of our residents to find strategic solutions to real life issues. When we work together and focus on restoring our amenities, roads, bridges, and water pipes, we honor our legacy while paving the way to the future. We sure do like to work here in Palm Coast, but we like to play even harder. In 2021, we were thrilled to welcome back so many of our residents to the over 466 programs we have to offer here in Palm Coast. Have you ever wanted to step outside of your comfort zone? What have you always wanted to try but thought it was just beyond your reach? Maybe you wanted to pick up tennis, paint, a picture, well, I have some great news for you. We have amazing programs that offer all of this and more, but don't take my word for it, take yours. My favorite part about living in Palm Coast is all that there is to do. Everything that we do here is easily accessible. Parks, there's walkways, there's bicycle paths, and of course there's always the beach. We found kind of a diamond in the rough here. There's a lot of paths, there's a lot of biking trails. We take the kids on the bike trails and the running trails also, and the emergency system that they have is great because you can use that to your advantage. If something happens, you can use that system for a 911 call, helps you out. So safety is crucial in Palm Coast. What I like is just the availability of how many different programs Palm Coast has to offer at any level of ability. There are free programs. There are programs, I think, pretty much on every day of the week. I don't think there's a day when the Parks and Rec doesn't have something you can do. We've been coming here for two and a half years. It's preparing him for BPK, and it, it's allowing him to make new friends and it allows me to meet some other moms. We do the um, teddy bear picnic, the Our Neck of the Woods. We also do Fun Day Monday and ABC 123. <laughs> we know them all. Whatever program they're having. We love Palm Coast. Palm Coast in Florida is a great place to be, not only because of the beach and the trails, but the weather. And, uh, and the community. I mean, it's a great community here. Children for families, it's a great community. I met some great people that are now really good friends of mine that I would not have known otherwise if I had not signed up for a program. And they say you live longer if you are physically active and you have good friendships. And both of those things have been something that's been offered through the Palm Coast Parks and Rec Department. Me and Sully are gonna be here till the end. We love Palm Coast. Here in Palm Coast, we believe that a community that celebrates together stays together.
That's right, and we had so much to celebrate in 2021. We were happy to bring back so many of our missed in-person events, like Movies in the Park and Food Truck Tuesday, a fabulous Independence Day event, and a Veterans Day luncheon honoring all of our military personnel and so much more. Our staff takes great pride in the organization and implementation of the over 446 programs. Last year, these programs were attended by over 22,000 residents. So, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Explore, connect, and play today. This is a great question. What are you waiting for? Well, if you're looking for fun and engaging programs, the wait is over. If you're looking for wide open spaces to enjoy all the beautiful scenery that Florida has to offer, the wait is over. These amazing programs and one-of-a-kind events are not exclusive. They are available to every resident and there is quite literally something for everyone. I challenge you to visit the Parks and Rec webpage at parksandrec.fun and get involved today. With so many innovative ideas working to restore and expand on our city's legacy and the plethora of fun and engaging leisure activities, there has never been a better time to live in Palm Coast. But these innovative ideas Plans for restoration and expansion and one-of-a-kind recreational activities are just a piece of the pie. Part of the reason we love where we live so much is thanks to the amazing people we share it all with. Which is why at this time, I would like to announce the recipients of this year's Next Generation Award, Public Service Award and Citizen of the Year. This year's Next Generation Award goes to Flagler Palm Coast High School student, Brian Sudrain. Brian is the president of the Junior Chamber of Commerce and is a shining example to his peers and to all of us. Congratulations, Brian. Next up, this year's Public Service Award is presented to Bunnell Police Department Officer Dominic Guida, who sadly passed away on November the 9th, 2021 in the line of duty. In the honor and memory of his great service to our community for over 17 years, we present the Public Service Award to him. And finally, our Citizen of the Year Award goes to a man that has made a tremendous impact on our community. Joe Rizzo was an entrepreneur, a businessman, a mentor, and my very best friend. Joe passed away unexpectedly on March the 6th of this year, but his legacy and the tremendous impact he had on this community lives on. For these reasons and more, we name him Citizen of the Year. We may be at the end of my State of the City address, but we are at the beginning of another ongoing journey together in Palm Coast. Focusing on the specialized details of innovation, restoration and recreation will demonstrate to our residents that we understand exactly why they chose Palm Coast as their home. So plan to spend time outdoors here to sense and experience what's going on around you. Stay informed on local happenings by going online or attending meetings. Get involved by volunteering or coming out to enjoy our programs and events. Focusing on all that makes Palm Coast so wonderful and inspires us to love where we live. Thank you for spending your time with us today. Be well, stay well, and take care of each other.